All right, let's talk a little bit about uh, u substitution. So what we're going to do is a couple of examples. So let's say we have the uh, integral of the quantity 3x minus 2 squared dx. Um, and you can see I've kind of color-coded things. So we have uh, something squared, so that something that's being squared I'm going to call u, so 3x minus 2 is going to be u. Um, I also color-coded the dx because people tend to forget to substitute in for that. So if u equals 3x minus 2, then du is going to be 3 dx. And then I want to be able to substitute in for everything and get everything in terms of u. So um, 1 third du is equal to dx. So I divided both sides by 3. Now I'm going to make my substitutions. So I get the integral of, well, 3x minus 2 is just u. So it's going to be u squared. And then dx is um, the quantity 1 third du. And OK, so the whole integral now is in terms of u. So we can rearrange a little bit like that. And now I'm going to actually integrate. So it's 1 third. And now u squared, so I'm going to add 1 to the exponent and multiply by the reciprocal, so it'll be 1 third, and then u to the third. And then uh, don't forget your plus c, so we found an antiderivative, so it gets plus c. And that's 1 ninth, and then u is actually equal to 3x minus 2, so u cubed, and then plus c. Alright, so that's one example. Let's take a look at another one. So we have the integral of x squared cosine of x cubed dx. So what I'll do here is I'm going to rewrite it, and I'm going to color code some things. So I know what's color code because I've done a lot of these in my life. And uh, what you should do is try to do as many as you can so that you also have that experience. So I've color coded, and now I'm going to make u equal to x cubed, which means that du is 3x squared dx. So you can see in the original problem I have an x squared and a dx. So I want to solve for that quantity. So x squared dx is 1 third du. And I'm going to rewrite my integral. So it'll be cosine of uh, now x cubed is u. And then x squared dx is 1 third du. So the whole thing's in terms of u. Let me pull out that 1 third and rearrange a little bit. And now the antiderivative. So 1 third antiderivative of cosine is sine of u. And then don't forget plus c. And then we know that u is actually x cubed. So we get one-third sine of x cubed plus c. All right, one more example. Um, it's going to be a little bit different. So we have the integral of the quantity x plus 1 times radical x minus 3 dx. So there's not really an obvious choice of what to make u. So what I'll do is anytime I really don't know what to do, I'll typically just take something that's inside a radical and see if that could be equal to u. And if it could be, then I'll go with it. If not, I'll try something else. So if u is equal to x minus 3, then du is simply dx. And furthermore, I, I need to be able to get rid of every x that's in the original integral. Um, so I'm going to take the equation here and solve for x. So u is equal to uh, x minus 3 gives me x is equal to u plus 3. So just add 3 to both sides of that. And now I can replace every x that I see. So my integral becomes um, this. So the x is replaced with u plus 3. So I have the quantity u plus 3 plus 1 and then radical u, and then du. So uh, let me simplify that a little bit. So u plus 4, and then radical u du. I'm going to actually distribute. So it'll be uh, the integral of, so u to the first times u to the 1 half is u to the 3 halves, plus 4 u to the 1 half. So remember, you don't want radicals when you're trying to do an antiderivative. Um, so I have this, rational exponents. I'm just going to reverse the power rule now. So the first thing I do is plus 1 so to the exponent. So 3 halves plus 1 is 5 halves. Multiply by the reciprocal is 2 fifths. 2 fifths u to the 5 halves plus 4. And then I do the same. So 1 half plus 1 is going to give me 3 halves. So the reciprocal is 2 thirds. And then there's going to be u to the 3 halves. And then plus c. And then, of course, we can simplify. Or rather, we can substitute back in. We want our final answer in terms of x. So I get that. And that's my final answer. So that's three uh, pretty representative examples of u substitution, and I hope you found that helpful. Good luck.